But the idea of Emmanuel, God is with us, or simply God with us, is really where the glory of this season lies. Hey everyone, Pastor BJ here coming to you from Kirkmont Church. So two days from today is the big celebration. It is Christmas time. We have been looking forward to this for weeks. We've been doing Advent things with our kids and we plan on celebrating with jolly festivities. I love this season for many, many reasons and I know many other Christians do as well. So we want to begin by wishing you a Merry Christmas even in the midst of this very strange year. Well, what I thought we might talk a little bit about today is this idea of the reason for the season. If you ask just the average Christian, why do we celebrate Christmas? Many of them are very quick to say, well, we celebrate it because Jesus is the reason for the season. This is a celebration of the birth of Jesus. They will push back very quickly against the idea that this is about simply about family or food or presents or Santa Claus or any of that. Now, that's all true and, and, and good as far as it goes. But if you ask them a little bit further and dig a little bit deeper, why do we celebrate the birth specifically? They'll typically respond very quickly by saying, well, it's, he came to save us from our sins. He died. This was a tremendous, tremendous thing. And again, absolutely true. Matthew tells us that that's why they named him Jesus, because he would save, their people from their, save his people from their sins. Now, again, that's all well and good, but let me just help you to understand that if that's the end of your understanding of Christmas, you are absolutely missing the central glory of this season. You see, the way that that answer is framed is that we celebrate the birth because it gives us the death and subsequently the resurrection. We, we glory in the beginning because it eventually gives us the end. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if you read your New Testament closely, that's not what this is about. Christmas is not a glorified birthday party. As if, as if Jesus' birth is celebrated because he was a great man like George Washington or Alexander the Great or somebody like that. You see, brothers and sisters, there's a whole lot more to this season that a lot of Christians often overlook. Now, some Christians will get a little bit closer to the truth. They'll say, yeah, but the surrounding events of his birth are glorious. He was born of a virgin. There was a star that led the Magi to his location where they worshipped him and gave him gifts. There were angels announcing his birth to the shepherds. And yes, all of that is true, and all of that is very much part and parcel of the glory of this celebration. So please don't hear me uh, critiquing that whatsoever. But even that doesn't go far enough. You see, the reason that we celebrate Jesus' birth is not simply because he was a great man, the greatest man, in fact, and it's not simply because the circumstances were miraculous, though they certainly were. The reason we celebrate Christmas with such vigor and joy and jolliness is because of this idea of Emmanuel. When Jesus was born, we have such a unique thing happening. If you take a look in the scriptures, it tells us very clearly that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Isaiah prophesied very clearly that it would be God himself, Emmanuel, who would be given birth to by a virgin, and that he, in fact, would be the one who comes to save his people. But the idea of Emmanuel, God is with us, or simply God with us, is really where the glory of this season lies. I mean, think about how difficult it is to wrap your brain around the idea that the creator of heaven and earth himself would pierce through the fabric of time and space and become a baby, one of the most vulnerable creatures that exists on this earth. And think of all of the seeming contradictions that come into our mind. How can the one who is all-powerful become a child? How can the one who is all-knowing have to learn how to walk and talk and feed himself? How can the one who is omnipresent be confined to the womb of a young woman in Palestine? This, brothers and sisters, is the glory of this season. And, and our songs, our Christmas carols, 
they highlight this beauty. That song, Mary, Did You Know, points very clearly to this. Hark, the herald angels sing, does the exact same thing. And so when we think about our celebration, I want us to remember that Emmanuel is the heart of this season. It is the glory central of what we are doing on Christmas. And our response should simply be awe that the God who created us knows what it's like to be us. He became like us. We have a high priest that can sympathize with our weaknesses, and he knows what it's like to be us. So when you wake up on Christmas morning and your kids or your family gather around to open presents and to have a meal, I pray that you would remind them that the reason we get excited is not because of a jolly fat man giving us presents. It's not because of good food and great time for family. All of those are great celebration ideas. But what I want you to remember is that we are celebrating Emmanuel. And if we're going to do Christmas right, we should do it with all of our might, with joy in the name of the Lord. Go, Merry Christmas, and be blessed.